trust me this is the first time that i'm on this road going to my father's home original home i don't know why my dad never took us here this is the first time i'm going to my grandpa's home i cannot understand i know my dad has been through a lot and i may not understand exactly his reasons that have led up to this moment but i can never question him because i know he has his own valid reasons but i'm grateful for this moment he let us go and say goodbye to our grandfather on his last day on earth and this is us we went by motorcycle because the roads here are really bad the roads are so bad the there is a fast tarmac road like it was so dusty and like it was just so bad and i was kind of excited to go to my dad's place for the first time my dad is so cool like he is my hero because my dad has one of the coolest personalities you'll ever meet like i just love this man so much so so much so on this day we were going to lay our grandpa to rest or my dad's father to rest and this man really left a legacy he left a great legacy my grandfather lived for a whole century may his soul rest in eternal peace may his beautiful soul be received by the heavens so my my grandpa was 101 years old He was born in 1922 during the colonial times can you imagine he was born in 1922 he died in 2023 so my grandfather lived for one or one years he lived for a world century and here here on this day we were not going to cry because we were going to re, to celebrate the life of our world legend because my grandfather lived he lived every day my grandpa actually worked during the colonial times in Mombasa he was a worker there a laborer you know how it was he also founded a school he has done so many things that let seem to be remembered in the community one of my most favorite memories of my grandfather i remember when we were kids like we were so young around like we were just so young i can't remember the age and he sent a one sack of gunia of macadamia macadamia was a world delicacy in our times because first of all the place we were living we didn't have many macadamias and we would go to the neighbors to steal we used to steal from another lady they used to have so many trees macadamia trees and she would come report us to our father and macadamia was so sweet in grand percent a world gunia with macadamia and that that was so wholesome like we really ate the macadamia for a whole week like they were the best that's that's really nice honestly my grandfather was also a chef at ymca in nairobi i cook really nice food though i don't love cooking but i understand where it came from he later moved to meru he was a farmer my grandpa has been a farmer he introduced macadamia as i told you he introduced coffee and banana and orange farming in the area like he, the area he was re, re, the living in because my grandpa had such a had such a world impact on his society on his community where he founded also a school to show his commitment to education now i understand why my dad really really values education up to today so that you can really understand the impact of my grandfather on on his community um he was really like many people a lot of people even school children came to my grandpa's barrio to honor him on his last day this was how my grandpa was received on his last day
mzuri. Sasa watu wanawe mikono uh, wale ambao wanastahili kusafisha chakula wajipange kitambo watu wanawe mikono uh, ili tuweze pick at once sioni watu wengine kupitia alafu tuambie wa mke tena wachukue chakula naomba tuweze kumkaribisha ile mwet aweze kuomba maombi ya kufungua uh, ishara yetu this afternoon so that can proceed. Uh, one of the Karibu Sana Thank you, thank you. Uh, we appreciate what you are doing for us. May God bless you. Yeah. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I don't know about your country, but here in Kenya, during burial ceremonies or funeral ceremonies, it is customary in Kenya to eat food. To eat food in burial ceremonies because we are literally celebrating a life. My grandfather had four wives and out of the four wives, he got 40 children. And as you can see, he, he was born in 1922. So it was normal for people during those times to get as many wives. So um, this tent that you can see here, this is a tent of only the 40 children and their products. Uh, some of the children are late, like they are deceased, but most of them are still here. And they came to say goodbye to their father. Plus, the tent also had cried children and
Netu ni kumuambia asante enda vizuri lakini yote yale ambao ulitufunza bado tuko naye pumzika kwa amani mzee hata si tuko karibu na tutaonana na wewe tena huko mbinguni This was part of my grandfather's home. He had a really big big home. This is like a dad. Part of it, this uh, mostly where he used to stay, but he had everything like those men from the like from the past like what they had, like those men with power, land, animals, farming and everything and honestly coming here healed a part of me that i didn't know needed healing ikiwe wainuliwe wapelekwe mbali mungu awabariki na wadhani mazuri watoto wetu in jesus name amen amen ndiyo nastaka mzuri bwana asisiye uh, kuna kwaya inaitwa JVC anjipangeni baada hizo picha 10 mkaribishe neno la Mungu alafu tuende kelele la sherehe yetu wapi yule mtu anayechukua picha photographer ah uh, picha ya kwanza ni watoto wa huyu mzee Watoto wote hawa tumehesabiwa wakuja hapa. Kana kwa karibu ndio kilange na rudi doi. Wote at time. Watoto wantare wakuja hapa. Our children of Tari. Tolentare tutachukua na bande gani? Ukofu bande hiyo. Nendeni bande ile. Tewa ni batroke na tibu mena bati kumenya msi. Baba ndio kumenya ndio habari tano. Anadobera <laughs> shika hapo mwisho rudi nyuma kidogo watoto wa hawa wakuje ora weta ntari huyu ubange bati kumenya ndio bana tabati ukita ora kisenta badali watoto grand children watu wafanye haraka grand children ndingo kikoya video haraka ndio nikimaliza nitakuwa nimemaliza na zitarudia tena ndio <laughs> Chindren 
Ale mwa kuiru wa miyamu, wa miyamu njana miyamu Simama na ee, tutu kasema ni kuduko na mwakilisha Haa, teremunga muna wengine wako njima yako Unawana wacha hivyo Oye, yoyo, yoyo, mbroku Ita anawani, mbroku, wene nyata hii Ina ukariritu kwa wako kutoma mbicha Oo, toma ya tribute Aya, umeolewa kwa hii familia mu umeowa hapa njo hapa Akabata na banto linda ribeye Na kuru mba aribanto linda ribeye Simkuje Uruwame ya Kepena nukuri jantari kana nukura nita jantari Nukuri wantari kana nukure na wantari njoa Walewa baingi mnoko mbama tiku mbina Oh, nasema wale wameo hapa Na wale wameolewa Na wale wameoleka Ie, iyo nduga sato, miyana wamekuja mpio hoto Oh, shinda ni hili soili, kingeresa yetu ya huku meru Ie, hili soili ya huku mbadisi meku Ya Ie, kuriyo sato Iso picha mnasema siko smati ya wale Kwa jafika hote mana, kuna wengine wanakuja, wanakuja Na Nefia ni nisis Wantolentari Ana ba to no inantari na ana ba ro inantari na ana ba ro ina egru ba kie na to no ina egru ba kie ana ba la be ta ana man tari kasis gemeru kie marie doa to be ta ne chef nis to ane ta gemeru to kare gome ba o ba e ko an to ba la be ta ba timo i kasi o tebo o tebo ko ba ba kuso 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 yo ne kuso ya ane ba 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 be ta ba munge ri ba na Baru anak ngera kapsa. Ngera ngera kapsa. Amerika. Kuliah di kapsa. Ah, kama kusu kusu. Tolong tarik anak guru bawa kie noveta anti. Kasih ni saku. Ah, wajah kuliah ni apa? Naju awak ni wen. Naju si cikgu dia. Para para cemerlang dia nak mudi indo, dia mudi indo. Wakina menja Komiti ya kirama Ayu Aya Nana wana kuja, nana wana kuja Sawa Ata wakuya wachache wakilisha wengine Kwa ya mjipange ndiyo nyi na adamu kadibisha neno Mimi sina pictures nyingi Istori naenda kumalizana na within Mother of Circles Ie komite ya birunga Ya Ie tibai baku ina Ita ngayin opu Gut Kadu weta ya dereme ya Inyai baku rangi ma My dad seemed to be really impressed by this choir He asked me to do a video of them
It's now came time to put my grandpa to rest and as much as we were celebrating his life that life well lived it was really hard for everyone it's always hard to say goodbye may your soul rest in peace grandpa we loved you so much and you shall never be forgotten Tu eto a camochere, a chabe, a karate, and our grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> 